is to let voters make these decisions, let the individual states make their abortion policy. And I think that's what makes the most sense in a very big, a very diverse, and let's be honest, sometimes a very, very messy and divided country. Governor, would you like to respond and also answer the question yeah. about restrictions? Yeah, well, the question got asked and Donald Trump made the accusation that wasn't true about Minnesota. Well, l let me tell you about this idea that there's diverse states. There's a young woman named Amber Thurman. She happened to be in Georgia, a restrictive state. Because of that, she had to travel a long distance to North Carolina to try and get her care. Amber Thurman died in that journey back and forth. The fact of the matter is, how can we as a nation say that your life and your rights, as basic as the right to control your own body, is determined on geography? There's a very real chance had Amber Thurman lived in Minnesota, she would be alive today. That's why the restoration of Roe versus Wade. When you listen to Vice President Harris talk about this subject and you hear me talk about it, you hear us talking exactly the same. Donald Trump is trying to figure out how to get the political right of this. I agree with a lot of what Senator Vance said about what's happening. His running mate, though, does not, and that's the problem. Governor, your time is up. Senator, let me ask you about that. He sure. mentioned, was, I think, referring to a national ban. In the past, you have supported a federal ban on abortion after 15 weeks. In fact, you said if someone can't support legislation like that, quote, you are making the United States the most barbaric pro-abortion regime anywhere in the entire world.